Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, finally getting around to covering Fira because she's been sort of reworked-ish in this patch with all the keywords removed. I already described it a bit in the overview video, but to simplify it, Cherish is different, Exterminate is just kind of worse, and Soul Blessing is sort of better. Builds are the same, no reason for me to go through these here. We've got Beam with Reset, Beam with Less Reset, the Shield Heal Setup, and then the Ammo Heal Setup, and the version of it with more ammo. They're really straightforward and they've been around forever. But yeah, the focus for today is going to be on Solar Blessing because it's the one that I think has been changed the most and also is, you know, for sure the most popular one at the moment. I've seen it a ton compared to the other two and it's for a good reason. Being able to self-heal is massive on it and I think people are finally catching up to the fact that it's better because it can linger heal and it's just a pretty solid talent at the moment. I feel like all of them are. Exterminate was popular for a little while but that sort of died off a little bit after the patch and because of all of this, Fury's in sort of an interesting spot at the moment with talents and build-wise. She's got a decent amount of variety even though she's also got a really solid identity. I like Furia. I'm going to stop yapping. Let's just play the match. All right, so for game one, TDM Throne, Ash, Lith, Victor, and Shaolin should be pretty good for this versus Cassie, Ceres, Victor, Ruckus, and then Azan. So the blessing and then the beam reset here, I think, is the play. Kronos, and we'll just focus on that. We've got Cursed Cord, Cardio, Fortress Breaker, Recurve, Eternal. I've been seeing a weed amount on Azan. Flux Generator, Water Reach, Cardio, and Big Game. Can't really heal the Lith at all, so it's going to be kind of doing our separate things. My volume for some reason is really low. I need to fix that in a second. Um, Azan's just off the map. Sure, heal over there. Cassie is already dead should it get the ash off there we'll stop the beam right here and then just get some taps i was gonna dance in the self heal but we don't really need to finally fix my audio we'll throw the yeah just the whole kit here there's the victor gone don't know if just everybody in this one is running knock it's a very strange the ash is there rex is just gonna walk into my stun uh, i can't help the earth at all and that's really annoying me because she's just constantly low health and i can't heal her because she's not got obviously any health she's just got her meter throw the beam here stop it on the cassie there we go that's a victor ult um didn't even hit the cassie there right click on the ash sure there goes the Ceres. i feel like fury is in such a good spot at the moment just the way her right click and the beam heal and pretty much her entire kit works it all flows together in a really really you know easy way to play well and do well with whereas before maybe she was a little bit more complicated and you had to kind of focus on one thing or the other you have a lot of benefits from all the setups kind of the way they were before don't know what's going on in this game though kind of strange there goes the yeah ruckus will stop the beam there heal the ash sure as long as just going to jump through it the beam on this map is kind of massive when you think about how much area we're blocking off and how much we can do with it uh, trying to heal the lift but she's gone we'll just right click there i do feel like i'm kind of spamming it because we've got so much reset i might as well we'll just fight in the beam he's going to try and knock me off we actually just knocked off the azan technically because we got back on with the f this game is kind of cooking me up here we'll get shots there goes the yeah victor uh, heal on the ash he's off the map what is this game i feel like there's been 20 knockoffs already and we're like halfway through am i off i don't know what happened with the rubber banding but we got back on again it's like the second time i've saved myself in like a minute what is going on we'll stop the beam he's cc immune uh, throw that there after backwards to get the reset there's hits we also get like a bit of self-heal the second we throw the beam i haven't played this before by the way it's more of our first impressions the rubber banding is horrendous but the second we throw the beam we're actually in it for like a little second it does technically heal you even if you're not trying to heal yourself with it is what i'm trying to say but for some reason this game is uh frying my brain a little bit there goes the beam we'll just yeah throw it all the way over there stop it but we got a kill we'll go for the ultimate get a little bit of jump height i don't know what's going on here the team is kind of shredding him but i feel like we're actually going back and forth quite a bit just gonna get shots on the ruckus there goes the victor again there's a combo heal on the ash he's back up to full the beam heal is kind of insane we're gonna get morale boost i feel like the ult here is kind of massive there goes the somebody i uh, know ash got a kill like 2k worth of damage they had like health left i genuinely don't know what's going on in this one rubber banding is so scuffed i don't know if it's even rubber banding maybe the is just running like the extra lift card and that's what's making me feel like it's you know banding weird i genuinely don't know but i need to make a video on that too sometime soon i just feel like right now furia strength wise is kind of crazy there's a beam we'll stop it right on the azan you can kind of use this super but aggressively when you're running the reset setup because you get that beam so much you really don't have to think about it very much we'll just stop it here and uh i really didn't even consider the fact that it would heal you the second you throw it i didn't think it would work like that i thought it'd be like a little bit of a pre-time run or something uh, maybe they'll change it i don't know because right now i throw the beam and i get like two ticks of it before it leaves and that's like a pretty beefy heal when you consider how much the beam heals for and how quickly does that make sense what is this game throw the beam through there especially when it lingers on enemies or friendlies i mean kind of lingers on enemies too but uh, yeah, it just feels very strong. There goes the Charlin. The game is over here, but I feel like there have literally been 20 knockoffs in this one. We'll stop it. Uh, kill the Azan in the beam. Uh, self field. Did I even die in that one? I feel like I was on a massive streak. I wasn't paying that much attention. I looked down once, I had like 19, but there's the victory. I just don't really know what to say about that one. We were on a 28 streak. I didn't even die once. I felt like I was going kind of massive. We didn't even have that ridiculous of a stat, but we were providing a ton of value. The heal there is massive. The damage is all right. The victor went kind of huge. Uh, the team was knocking off both sides like constantly. It was a mess, but I loved it. Riku, game two, Furia felt great there. 
like actually kind of ridiculous. Pretty much perfect scenario for it because of the double tank and we were able to just sit in our beam. I say myself so many times just with being able to do that in that game and I was able to play very differently than you usually would with Furia because you don't have to really care about being safe with the beam. You can just spam it and it sort of works in a match like that. I was trying my best to not mention the fact that Horse is playable because I'm recording this on the one day when he's actually in normal sort of matches and if you're watching this in a year or two it might make no sense whatsoever but uh, yeah, let's just pretend the horse isn't real. Let's go for the same thing here. Again, we've got a Koga, a Corvus, a Tiberius, and a Talus. Meanwhile, for their side, they have what looks like a very strange champion here. Io, Kazumi, Amani, Cassie. I was going to run left like I usually do on this one, but the entire team went this way. That Yeah, flying horse. I really don't know how to comment this, but yeah, Tiberius is going to get rid of him. We'll throw the beam there. I don't know if they really need the heal, but we'll stop it. It is just kind of ridiculous being able to play Furia like this. It feels so much different than like a year or two ago. You couldn't even stop the beam before, which is kind of crazy to think about now. But yeah, you didn't used to be able to stop the beam. It would just stop on the first person, right? We'll throw it there. I think Luna just tried to stun me. We'll stop it so they can't run through. Heal there for the Talus. Try my best here to play with the team, but these guys are a little bit all over the place. We'll stop the beam here. There we go. Heal for the Tiberius. We'll F back for the reset. Tiberius just jumped in. That's not a Tiberius. It's a horse. Don't know how I forgot that the horse uses the effects from the abilities. Like the Tiberius jump sound effect really threw me off there. We'll get more Kronos. A heal there. I feel like I'm doing my job here. Definitely more support. Focus because I can't really hybrid because they're very, very bursty. We'll throw that over. Yeah, stop it there. Kind of block that little way off. We hit the IO with that and um, heal for the Tiberius. Nope, he's gone. F back. I'm trying to heal the yeah, Corvus. Throw that through. Maybe we'll get the Kazumi here. Uh, there we go. Finish her off. Nice. Being able to play like a damage here because we can stop the beam is kind of massive when you think about it. In a way, it does have something over the damage setup with your ability to stop the beam. You can really use it a little bit differently than you would if you're going for like exterminate. There goes the IO just melter because we've got the ultimate up. Team's kind of coming back a little bit. We're behind for a bit there. It really does just throw me off because I think that there's somebody mounted there and he's just not loaded in. But it's just the horse. For some reason, my brain doesn't register that that's a champion. Don't feel like it'd be too difficult to argue that Fury is a little bit overtuned at the moment. Not like a crazy amount, but strength wise, she's got a lot of things that she's had over the past like year or two that have added up. Like if they were to nerf Fury, I wouldn't necessarily be confused. Very similar to with Buck. I don't know if they need the nerf, but I wouldn't argue against it and I could totally understand it being the case for either of those two champions I just said. We'll throw it there. I definitely talked about that in a video before, but stop it there. It'll heal there on the Talus. So they can run through, sort of provide like a little healing gate. That's an ult from the Koga. Yeah, we'll throw the beam there. Tiberius is gone. Um, they're just off the map. Did he knock them? What happened there? Why is everybody falling off the map in this one? Are people just allergic to the floor? That's an ultimate. I think we're dead here. Maybe we could have tried to do something with the beam heal, but uh, we'll stop it there. Get some shots. There is a horse jumping and attacking me. I tried to F away. That was painful. We'll get some nimble because I feel very, very safe. I don't have the F. I have like a no movement. Stop the beam here. Does the meter go up if we heal ourselves? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. That would be a little bit too ridiculous. I wasn't sure, but uh, now I know. Yeah, you can stand in the beam here. It doesn't keep your meter up. You have to heal friendlies, which would maybe explain why our damage was so on that last one, but. Yeah, at least now I've checked. We're going to F back. That's uh, slow from the Kazumi. We'll throw the beam with there. Um, he'll see if we can stop it on the door. Or just stop it on two of them. That works too. Tiberius here. Um, there goes the horse. Oh my god. Okay, we'll go for the ultimate. The ragdoll on that is so cooked. That's uh, just Root. Amani will stop the beam right on the door. And uh, I don't know, I got knocked by. I guess it was Cassie who's here. There's an F back. She's gone. Throw the beam and stop it. I feel like I'm spamming my keyboard in this one. There's a horse right in front of me just ragdolling. This game, man this game. Tiberius is just going kind of huge in this one, I feel like. I've seen him in the kill feed constantly. A heal on the Koga. We'll throw the beam through. I think I'm dead here. F away. Stop the beam on myself. And we're fine, sort of. Hello, Cassie. Uh, there's also a Kazumi here. I feel like I'm playing so badly in this one, but the self-heal beam has saved my cheeks uh, like countless amount of times. Genuinely, you're able to play so much differently. I'm finally dead, I think, because I'm out of place and I've not got any of my kit. Um, I mean, it's going to take him a minute. Are we fine? How am I not dead? Uh, that's an IO ultimate that I just walked into. Can we get back on? Oh, nearly. I nearly saved that play. Didn't matter anyway. We were definitely going to lose it there. It was 40 to a 31. They deserve the win. They played better. But that was another really good showcase for this. I don't know if it's going to come across in the video or not, but definitely give this a shot. If you played this like a while ago, it's very, very different at the moment. This change alone is already enough to warrant revisiting it because Cell Blessing Fury at the moment is kind of crazy, especially when you combo it with the kit. It goes kind of crazy. It is super important for Fury. The build is always really important for a bit. Yeah, Hallowed Sight is a really important card to have level one. The Cell Fuel with the extra health and the reset and the beam radius, all absolutely massive there. I was going to do a game three, but I'm pretty happy to leave it here. The stats are on screen for you. Shout out to that was there, Cassie. It's kind of hard for me to say, but power-wise in those two matches, this was just kind of ridiculous. Healing and damage-wise, the way you can play it. It's a lot. And yeah, I could already sort of tell from playing against it, but playing it myself, um, I can see why so many people are picking it up and really having fun with it. That's where I'm going to leave it though. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me next. Your thoughts on it. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.